All right, Woj bomb. We got a bomb. Bomb, ladies and gentlemen. There's a bomb going off, and not the kind you have to run out of a theater for. The good kind. It's a trade. Pelicans, Pelicans have just traded Steven Adams, Eric Bledsoe, the 10th pick and the 40th pick in this week's draft to the Memphis Grizzlies for Jonas Valanciunas, the 17th pick and the 51th pick. You're probably asking, why the hell is this trade happening? Well, uh, Steven Adams and Eric Bledsoe make a lot of money. Let's show you exactly how much real quick. There you go. Steven Adams and Eric Bledsoe were the two highest earners on the team, and their contracts are still going forward. This is from the season that just ended. This is from the season that's continuing, that's coming, right? 21-22. Steven Adams, he is getting, uh, uh, his pay is going down, right? But it is important to note that they just gave him that contract. They just traded for him and extended him two more years at $18 million when Steven Adams is a good player. But if your center isn't like an all-star or at least like a fringe all-star at the very minimum, and Steven Adams is a good player, but he's not that. He really probably should never be a, an all-star. I'd be kind of surprised. Feel free to come back and make fun of me if that happens in the future. Uh, I'll take that shame, no problem. I love owning up to my mistakes because I fuck up all the time. But they just gave him this contract, and it's too much money for a center who's like pretty good but not amazing. And Eric Bledsoe, that, that's not their fault. That was just part of the contract that they got, although they didn't need to bring him in. They thought he was going to be better. But again, it's their fuck up, but they're trying to redo it by getting rid of essentially you know, 17 plus 18, so let's say, what, $35 million for next year's salary. And in return, all they take on is... Do, 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 do. So basically, they got rid of Steven Adams and Eric Bledsoe's roughly $35 million in combined salary. And in return, they only get Jonas's one year remaining of $14 million. So they're saving a lot of money. And that provides a couple of different things. One is like that makes the team more affordable. Two is Woj states here. It makes it easier for them to either keep Lonzo and try to sign Kyle Lowry. Who knows? Maybe they even do both. I, you know, probably not. But they, they have options. There are things they can do. Now, this part right here is 100% just a lie. This part right here where he says they liked Valanciunas as a floor spacer. Uh, no, they don't. He can't fucking shoot. That's not true. He's not a good shooter. He's really never been. He has some good moments here or there. But teams do not respect him. So there's no reason to think that's like true in any way. He's not going to provide any like functional spacing. He might shoot more threes than Steven Adams, but he's not going to provide more functional spacing. All right. Yeah, he, he shoots like a three a game. No team is like changing their defense because Jonas Valanciunas will shoot one three a game. That's not happening. It doesn't exist. All right. That's just Woj. He very clearly this like this lets you know that this information was very clearly from New Orleans because that's the only reason you would say something like that is that Valanciunas is like a valuable floor spacer. No, he's just uh, the guy with matching salary and he's also a center. That's literally all that is, but it's important to know. So this trade is happening because New Orleans fucked up last summer and they're trying to fix some of that by giving away picks. They didn't, they're trading picks, I should say, right? So essentially New Orleans is giving away 10 to move back to seven and 40 to 51 because they fucked up. They fucked up last summer uh, kept Eric Bledsoe when they didn't have to. They probably could have just kept George Hill, who probably would have been more useful and he's cheaper. And they also traded for Steven Adams and gave him more years at less money, but more years when they didn't have to. So very interesting decisions. Uh, that's what's going on here. The The Pelicans are just clearing space to, you know, but maybe they get Kyle Lowry and that would be nice. But the reason they're moving back several picks is because they fucked up. So, yeah. 